Good afternoon and welcome. Today we are sitting in Bryanston, which is South Africa's most searched suburb. We are at 42B St. Audley, and even though this property has a B in the name, this is definitely an A plus property. It has five bedrooms, 4.5 bathrooms, four reception areas, with a floor size of 360 square meters and a land size of 950 square meters. And it goes for a very reasonable price of 5,250,000 Rand. So what I'd like you to do is follow me because it is time to check out this property. As you come through the beautiful white double doors, you find yourself in a reception slash dining room area. This area cuts immediately into a free-flowing kitchen that really is an entertainer's dream. What you'll find around here is tons of natural light, as well as a fireplace that really incorporates an urban chic feel. You can see the exposed brick wall brings a lot of earthy undertones. And really, is there anything that you could find yourself not wanting to do in an airy and open reception area, dining room area, kitchen area like this? It is wonderful. If we move into the kitchen, you'll find yourself some beautiful granite countertops with ample cupboard space with exposed wood that is beautiful to feel. Right over here, we've got a stovetop burner with five burners as well as an incorporated oven. You've got a faucet and your, your basin there. And if we move this way, more cupboard area, we've got some coffee area there, as well as little nooks and crannies for you to store things inside these built-in countertops. They really put a lot of thought. Another major feature within the kitchen is, as you can see, this excavator fan with the beautiful stainless steel chimney. The different lighting the owner has fitted throughout the house, there really is a good theme to the lighting and a lot of character it brings to the house. Another thing I want you to keep in mind is just to the right of the kitchen, there is a kitchenette or a scullery, and in that scullery you can put your dishwasher, your washing machine, your tumble dryer, so it is out of sight. As well as if you are entertaining, you can put all your dishes back there and also have your cook stuff in the back away from your guests. So enough about downstairs, let's take a look at upstairs. There's a beautiful eye beam on these stairs that draws the eye upstairs. Again, double vaulted ceiling is a huge feature of this house. Stainless steel balustrade lead up to a loft area where really imagination is the limit. Currently, this has been converted into an office slash storage room, as well as a guest bedroom and bathroom. So we're gonna show you this guest bedroom and bathroom right now, and really, it has been decorated immaculately. There are cantilever windows that open up and let in such a beautiful, cool breeze. You can see we've got these plaid wooden ceilings that also brings in that farmhouse vibe. It is such a pleasant experience up here. You've got a shower in the corner as well as a basin, but let's head down to the sitting room. So as you come out of the guest bedroom, as I've mentioned, there's an office slash storage room right over here. If you move in, this is something you can make your own. If you'd like to put an office in here, it is perfectly situated for you to do so. Floor to ceiling window where you get an immaculate view of this whole household. And let's take a look at this incredible view. I feel like a king surveying my kingdom. Welcome to the sitting room. It's a beautiful open space that leads right out into the garden. Another thing that I wanted to mention, and I've mentioned it a couple times before, is the amount of attention the owner has paid to lighting. We've got beautiful down lights here, and as well as some feature lights in the corner. Just behind me, we've got another half bathroom, as well as a study slash playroom, however you want to feature it, there is space there for that. As you can see behind me now, what a beautiful open space this is. So much light, so much air. Now, as we move forward, Behind me here, we have got some stairs that are going to lead to the other bedrooms. And to the left, we've got a pure, perfect reading nook. Take a look at this. Who wouldn't want to just collapse into this and read a beautiful book? Oh, didn't see you there. Let's put this away and let's show you the rest of this house. So as we move off of the sitting room and we follow the fantastic feature wall on my right hand side, we come in to the study slash playroom. This leads directly off into the garden with beautiful views, very light, very airy, two of the biggest features of this house. And now let's take a look at that half bathroom. As you come out of the play slash study, you've got a perfect half bathroom right here to service people coming off of the sitting room, to service people coming out of the playroom, as well as a very, very easy accessible guest bathroom. 
So within the bathroom and the shower itself, you'll see the hand fitted pebble flooring as well as the Iska taps. There's two full on glass shower walls. Just to the left of the shower, there'll be a fantastic looking basin with a double wide mirror. There's a lot of light, there's a lot of air, and it is a refreshing, comfortable place to be. Can't get this off my mind. Welcome. Let's take you to the first room. Another theme here is light, is air, is brightness. A lot of attention to the details have been paid to the hanging lights. And this is the first master bedroom. Tons of cupboard space as soon as you walk into your right hand side with floor to ceiling windows on the left. And as you peek out the windows, you get such a stunning view of the garden. As you move off onto the in-suite bathroom for the main bedroom, the first thing you'll see is the incredible floating tub sitting in the corner just underneath the double vaulted windows. Within the in-suite bathroom, you'll see the heated towel rack as well as a heater. It's really gonna bring a lot of warmth to those cold South African winter nights. There you'll also find a double size shower with floor to ceiling glass. It is an incredible shower with some turquoise towels at the back. You'll also see an ample cupboard room in here for some towels, whatever else your bathroom necessities might need. Again, like the remainder of this house, it's a lot of light, it's a lot of warmth, it's a lot of air, and it's something that you really need within the hustle and bustle of Johannesburg. Upstairs, just outside the master bedroom, you'll find two spare bedrooms. These can both be allocated as office space, or in this case, bedrooms for your children. They have both got very high ceilings, which brings a lot of space and volume to the area, and they are both complete identical copies of one another. So you'll find the mirrors and the windows on the right hand side and on the left hand side in the other bedroom. At the end of the upstairs hallway you'll find a bathroom dedicated for use for the two spare rooms. This is a full bathroom. So inside it you'll find a shower, a toilet, a bath and a basin. Within the upstairs hallway as well you'll find yourself a full linen cupboard. Relaxing on a sunny day outside, what more can you ask for? And in this case, for this house, not much. So let's run through some other features this house has. It has a full double garage, as well as ample parking within the house, but not within the garage for other cars. It also has full block off access to the upstairs bedrooms that we had just toured with the trailer door gate. Another one of the features is an intercom, both within the main bedroom, as well as within the downstairs living area. So if you do get a visitor, you don't need to rush around the house to try and let them in. And last but not least is a 10 strand electric fence around the premises, as well as a Wi-Fi camera system. It's all built in, it's all here for your safety. But let's talk a bit about this living area. You can see outside, just off the inside living area, it is stunning. There's been so much detail paid to the lighting within the outside living area as well. And within this whole porch, just off it to the left will be a bar area and you've got your wraparound garden. Let's take a look at it. Top of the garden, you'll find a beautiful pool area. Within the pool area, there are some built-in sun lounges for you to take advantage of the amazing South African sunny days and a perfectly sized pool for you to dip in, take a couple of laps and just relax with friends, with family every single weekend that you don't need to be hard at the grind. Would you like wine? Would you like whiskey? Maybe you're not drinking and you just like a glass of water. There is no better place to entertain your guests or just sit back and enjoy a Sunday to yourself than in your own personalized bar area. Coming right off the outstairs patio, you have this beautiful, authentic bar experience here that you can enjoy with your family, with your friends, or by yourself. Cheers to you. And there we have it folks, St. Audley's Road, Bryanston. What a spectacular property and what a spectacular family home. I'm sure you all felt that enjoyed the tour. So if this is the home that you feel is for you, don't hesitate to contact the agent, Charlene Negus from First Realty. All of her details are on the screen right now.